we're going to talk about number four out of five of the most overlooked survival rifles. Today, we're going to be talking about the Harrington Richards Handy Rifle. Now, these come in rimfire, which is 22, 17, 22 mag. You get them in shotguns, 410, 12, 20, and then they come in handy rifles, 204, 223, all the way up 445, 70, 500 Smith & Wesson. It's simplicity at its best. All right, as I've talked in the other videos, if you've watched, we want it simple. Because if you're out somewhere and something breaks, you can't just go to your local gun shop or hardware store and pick up something. So you want something that's going to be reliable with very few moving parts, less breakage. All right, the other thing I always talk about, iron sights. Any survival rifle should have iron sights. Scopes are good, but the trouble is if the gun falls over or it gets bumped, the scope gets cracked or it fogs up, it's no good. One thing you got is a boat anchor. Iron sights. That's a good backup. They're steel, and you always got some kind of focal point there to look at. This particular gun is a 4570. It's one of the bigger models. All right. It's simple. You just push the button, break the action, put a single shell in, close it up, cock it, and you're ready to go. All right. What I did do with this one is I just took some orange model car paint and I've touched the tips of the rear sight and then I colored the front sight. It's a high fluorescent orange just makes it pick up a little easier. All right, These come in wood stocks, laminated and synthetic. I like the synthetic because you can remove the screws, store extra ammo in them. Now, depending on where you're at in the United States as to what gun is going to shoot you the best. You might just need a smaller caliber for squirrels, rabbits. You might be out in bear country, so you're going to want something a little bigger. You might just want a shotgun in this. They come in 12 gauges. They come in youth models. This particular one is just a rugger, but it only weighs five and a half pounds. All right, if you take the screw out, pull the forearm off, break it down, it comes apart, and it's easy backpacking. It's only is going to be as long as what your barrel is. This particular model here has a 22 inch barrel on it, so it's only going to be 22 inches long. It's simplicity at its best. Very few moving parts, simple to operate, pretty much a point and shoot gun. That's the good thing of it. The bad thing, one shell. That's all it takes. You have no more shots until you break it down and put another one in. So, depending on where you're at, you need to look and see what caliber is going to suit you best. It does come with sling studs on it. They run about $200 here on the East Coast. Depending on where you're at, it could be a little more, could be a little less. That's about as cheap as it's going to get. All right, stay tuned. I got one gun left, and we'll be done with this series. And I'm, it's one that I'm going to like the best. I hope you do too.